bio. You can go to uh, photo and you can just choose the default photo size and then over here you can either make it vertical or horizontal. Hit create and then you're going to drag your photos in. So here's my first. Um, you want to put the photo on top that has the area you want to mask out. So um, I'm going to mask out the middle section here. So I want to be, I want to have that layer selected and then I'm going to click on my mask. I'm going to see the white box pop up. And I'm going to go to my paintbrush. I want black in the foreground. That will allow you to start masking out. You can change your brush size here. And because I want the water to be visible and not the trees, I'm going to click on my photo layer below. Go to my move tool and I'm going to move that photo. And I can even zoom out and scale it up a bit. The reason I'm doing that is to kind of maximize the water space there. Now I'm going to come back up to the layer above and continue my masking. I have to make sure I click on this box and not the photo. Otherwise you'll be drawing right on the photo with your paintbrush. So I can also use selection tools. That gets a little tricky because you have to click on the photo, go to your selection tool to make a selection. And then you have to, before you fill this in with black, you have to make sure you click back on the mask. So you can use your paintbrush. It'll only fill in your selection. Um, and that's how those, that's how the mask works. So if you get a little too much, you can click these arrows to swap. So white is in the foreground and you can restore your mask.